In chapter 39 of Genesis, Joseph is living under his um, his uh, master Potiphar's house. And Potiphar's wife, she, um, she, she thinks Joseph looks really good. And she keeps trying to get him to sleep with her. And Joseph has a righteous spirit within. And he knows better to even dare try anything with Potiphar's wife. And so, you know, after kindly telling her, she tries to force him to lay with her. So anyways, he escapes. She grabs onto his garment. She lies to everyone and says, or to Potiphar, and says um, that he, you know, tried to do bad things to her. So anyway, Joseph gets thrown into the pit, into a dungeon. Very unfair situation. Have you ever been in that situation? I'm currently in it. Even though I know the truth, knowing I did nothing wrong, I know what my Lord's told me to do. And the book that he told me to write, it's written and published. Have you ever been in a situation where well, now you're faced with the chief baker and the chief butler and they are in the prison with you they both have dreams and you interpret them both of them are able to finally get out of prison and they're out of prison before you on the third day of a month in chapter 40 of Genesis the interpretation of the butler was given to Pharaoh and he forgot he forgot Joseph let not the Holy Spirit be forgotten in this time for it's the Holy Spirit that shelters everyone when they're in need it's by grace that God saves us. Looks like in Genesis chapter 40, somebody will be having a 40th birthday. And I will be having a 47th birthday on the 10th of August. On that third day in August, don't forget when it's somebody's birthday, the interpretation of a dream. Don't forget, America needs this oil. America needs the Holy Spirit. Joseph is coming out of the pit. And in Genesis 49, the shoes, the gospel of peace, is a testimony for the end time that's not to be forgotten. Shiloh has that testimony of Shiloh. Don't forget your shoes. Don't forget the gospel of peace. Genesis 49, 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah until Shiloh return. And that's the blessing of Jacob to Israel.